Hello, this is Maureen Walsh, scholarly sharing strategist for the Ohio State University Libraries, and I will be giving a short update on transforming scholarly publishing at the Ohio State University. The Ohio State University Libraries promotes innovative research and creative expression and curates and preserves information essential for scholarship and learning. Making the research and scholarship of Ohio State's faculty, staff, and students openly available allows us to live our land-grant mission, sharing knowledge and culture with the people of Ohio, the nation, and the world. The current scholarly publishing model creates barriers for researchers and has become unsustainable. In alignment with the university's promise of operational excellence and resource stewardship, we are exploring partnerships to transform that model but also ensuring researchers have access to the tools crucial for their work. This short update focuses on one of our current strategic initiatives, transforming the scholarly publishing economy. After close to two decades of grassroots operational and tactical work that has made incremental advances in open access publishing, at this moment in time, we have a real opportunity to see several converging and significant opportunities to affect transformative change in the economics of scholarly publishing. As Ohio State's major consortial partners explore what these arrangements may look like at scale, we are beginning to pilot agreements with, pub with publishers where we can to best understand their impact on our researchers and resources. We have created a plan and set of priorities to inform and motivate decision making around directing funds away from paywalled subscription models and toward open access publishing. These principles and roadmaps inform our collection strategy, and we are working to apply our equity values of advancing diversity, inclusivity, access, and social justice to scholarly journal collection building. Our goals include educating, informing, and building partnerships with key leaders and stakeholders on campus to support actions that transform publishing economics, expanding avenues of open access to advance Ohio State research, and developing analytics capabilities to inform negotiations and monitor impacts of new arrangements. Our strategic drivers for advancing new models of scholarly publishing are campus engagement and partnership building. The Libraries is working with our stakeholders to advance innovative research and creative expression by fostering, preserving, and openly sharing research and scholarship. We are exploring partnerships to transform scholarly publishing models, and we are advocating for change by actively pursuing transformative and transitional deals in this space. While this is a university library strategic initiative, our work here, like our greater mission, is based on supporting the current and emerging needs of our many constituents across campus. Our work in advancing our initiative to transform the scholarly publishing economy by its nature is characterized by interdependence. By engaging with researchers, we can better understand the diverse needs within our research communities, identify commonalities where possible, and explore potential solutions. We also hope that this will lead to new and enhanced partnerships within these research communities, bridging gaps and connecting between silos to create efficiencies and cost savings and maximize value and uptake where possible. If we're successful with both deeper engagements across campus and sustained enhanced partnerships, then any transformative and transitional publishing agreements university libraries can negotiate and enter into on behalf of the university will be utilized to a greater extent and have maximum reach, and we hope will help build better engagements in the future. Our institutional repository, the Knowledge Bank, is now in its 18th year. Our library's publishing program grew out of the repository program, and we are now in our 13th year of publishing open access journals and proceedings with no article processing charges and with authors retaining copyright. Our publishing program is an opportunity for us to engage and consult with Ohio State editors and authors around the changing landscape of scholarly publishing in new and emerging scholarly publishing models. Tome toward an open monograph ecosystem advances the wide dissemination of scholarship by humanities and humanistic social sciences faculty members through open access editions of peer reviewed and professionally edited monographs. The Association of American Universities, 
Association of Research Libraries, and Association of University Presses launched this initiative in the spring of 2017, and we are one of 17 participating funding institutions. To date, we have funded seven monographs. Four have been published with three forthcoming. The Tome Initiative is not just about funding or subvening three monographs a year for five years. The aspirational goal is to flip an economic model. In five years, will we have effected change in the funding model for scholarly monograph publishing in the humanities? Will it have an impact for other scholarly publishing? The realistic goal is to make more Ohio State scholarship broadly available and to work with our peers to strengthen support for humanities scholarship, to inc increase its presence on the web and open up knowledge to more readers. It is to advance engagement with our faculty and our campus around open access, author's rights, licensing work for reuse and supporting digital scholarship. We were fortunate to be able to appoint a faculty fellow to work with us on our Transforming the Scholarly Publishing Economy initiative. Brian Carstens joined us this year in the libraries as a faculty fellow. He is a professor in the Department of Evolution, Ecology and Organismal Biology and the Editor-in-Chief of Systematic Biology a journal of the Society of Systematic Biologists. Brian reports to the Associate Dean for Content and Access and works closely with the Scholarly Sharing Program Area and Collection Strategy to accelerate the library's strategic work to transform the scholarly publishing economy. With our faculty fellow, we are working on campus engagement. This fellowship has a particular focus on engaging with scholarly societies and society members and editors on campus. University libraries receive central funding from the university to purchase and or license a wide range of content in many formats and languages across every academic discipline to support the research and teaching needs of the Ohio State community. Of that funding, about 80% goes to continuing resources, mainly journals and databases that increase in cost each year. Our investments with our two main consortia, OhioLINK and the Big Ten Academic Alliance, comprise about half of our overall funds committed to continuing resources. Through SCALE, the agreements we receive for major scientific content lock in lower than market rate annual cost increases and are often for access to all or nearly all of the content available from the publisher. Most of these investments are with OhioLINK, which has been an exemplar consortium and generating cost savings for statewide access to and ownership of digital journal content. While we have fewer overall investments with the Big Ten Academic Alliance, the content deals we receive through this consortia of our research institution peers is for content that we need to provide for our broad and deep research community. Outside of our consortial deals, which include Elsevier, Wiley, Springer, and others, we have the opportunity to target our direct subscriptions for potential Ohio State transformative deals. Taylor and Francis accounted for a significant amount of the roughly 50% of investments represented by direct subscriptions. Already in ongoing conversations with Taylor and Francis to try and expand our profile with them at scale based on campus demand, we approached Taylor and Francis with the idea of exploring a read and publish pilot agreement for North American market. Our read and publish agreement with Taylor and Francis announced this June is Ohio State's first and Taylor and Francis's first such deal in North America. It is a three year pilot through 2022. Greatly increasing Ohio State's access to Taylor and Francis journal content covering more than 2300 journals an increase in access of more than 1,800 journals. The agreement also includes the open access publishing costs for Ohio State corresponding authors choosing to publish open access in either hybrid or full open access Taylor and Francis journals, including Routledge and Cogent OA titles. Articles published open access under the agreement will not have a paywall embargo. They will be published under a Creative Commons license and the authors will retain copyright. Ohio State will retain perpetual access rights for read content published during the pilot period. As part of our agreement, Taylor and Francis provided Ohio State a research dashboard for the OA publishing workflow. 
As we continue to work with Taylor and Francis on refining the OA publishing workflow for Ohio State authors, Taylor and Francis is taking the additional step of contacting each Ohio State corresponding author separately outside of the open access publishing workflow with a direct email. Entering into conversations with Taylor and Francis about a potential read and publish agreement, we were intrigued by the diverse publishing portfolio of Taylor and Francis. About 60% of its titles are in the humanities and social sciences, disciplines that may not have that may not have had as many opportunities to engage with open access, particularly in respect to funding in an author side charge model. As a percentage of our total publishing output prior to our agreement, Ohio State's OA publishing with Taylor and Francis was very low. But given the option to choose open access at no cost to them, would our corresponding authors in the humanities and social sciences fields choose open? Our OA our OA publishing pilot began on July 8th of 2020. As of the end of October, we have approved 39 articles for funding, declined seven ineligible requests, and there are 20 articles where the author has not yet requested funding. We are right around where we thought we would be in terms of the number of accepted articles, but it is still very early in the pilot to make assumptions at this point about what we are seeing around the uptake on our OA publishing offer. We will continue to assess, and in a year, we hope to have a clearer picture. Although we are currently teleworking, we are continuing to move our Transforming the Scholarly Publishing Economy initiative forward. Our current focus is campus faculty and researcher engagement, outreach and education, new work with our campus and consortial partners happening at various levels, and looking at analytics to help us better understand how our faculty and researchers are publishing, where they are publishing, and the kinds of funds that are being expended, and where those funds are coming from. During the pandemic, we have moved our conversations around this initiative with campus faculty and researchers online. We are seeing Zoom fatigue, but continue to engage with stakeholders. We continue to explore open access publishing agreements, and work with our consortia on potential opportunities. With the Big Ten Academic Alliance, we are engaging in the sustainable publishing space for the consortia as a whole. And Ohio State is working with OhioLINK, other OhioLINK members and publishers to explore what open access publishing agreements might look like for a diverse statewide consortium such as ours in Ohio. I would like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues on this initiative, especially my initiative co-lead, Jean Springs, our collection strategist. Thank you.